Welcome back. Now we're going to talk about the cameras that you can check out from BATV to film local events that you want covered. So um, <laughs> BATV uses a Canon chip camera. You can buy this also once again at Best Buy or any video uh, or camera store. Um, we provide 16 gig chips in the cameras. Um, so that people don't have to open and close this. Um, there's a lot of things that can go wrong with electronics when the power is still on and you pull a chip out. It's kind of like in a computer when you don't eject the hard drive and you just pull it out and then it gives you the warning. You never know anything could happen. So we stock that and, and keep that closed for staff use only. Um, we always make sure that there's not even a battery on the camera when we take chips in and out of it. And with 16 gigs, you can cover a two-hour meeting with no problem. Uh, yeah, one chip, a one 16 gig chip holds two hours and 52 minutes on our camera. Mm -hmm. So almost three hours. Um, the batteries also, um, a big battery is over three hours. So we're, um, you know, back in the day we were on tape. And so every hour kids would have to change tapes or any volunteer would have to change tapes and that would stop whatever meeting we were at and stuff like that. So moving over to the chip cameras was um, for meetings so that we're not interrupting things and people can, you know, stay on the paths that they're on for their meetings and agendas and uh, we never miss anything. So at sporting events, when we are at volleyball and stuff, it's not like the kid has to, you know, rush through because they're missing two minutes of the game. Um, so uh, first we're going to put a battery on the camera. On the back, you can see there are four pins back here and on the battery you can see that there is a place for those pins mm -hmm. so we're gonna put this in and we're gonna slide it up and it's gonna lock into place mm -hmm. so if we needed to take the battery off we would slide that in and pull our battery off and then put the new one on okay mm -hmm. next we're gonna put the camera on the tripod so we're gonna loosen our tripod plate and release it off the tripod and we're gonna line up our lens to our lens mm -hmm. and as you can see uh, these we'll fit in. right inside so you line it up with the right direction the locator pin lines you up and you tighten it down yep and you can do finger tight mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be super tight um, we've had people like Superman strong and then we have issues with trying to get the plate off so uh, finger tight is good just make sure the camera isn't wiggling around on it and then we're going to put it on. Once again, pushing our locks and locking the camera down. Mm -hmm. So now our camera is stable on our tripod and we are able to do other things. Um, we can turn it on. There is a power button here. Mm -hmm. And we open the LCD screen and we can see we have picture. So that's good. We have picture. Does it look like we have sound as well? Yes, so our cameras automatically have camera microphones and those are located in here. So any sound that is closest to it will be picked up before anything else. So like when we're at River Rhapsody concerts, if there's a family sitting right next to us, the reason why you hear them talking is because they're right next to us. If they would be 20 feet over, we wouldn't necessarily hear their conversations and we would hear more of the band. So um, that's just why sometimes you have that weird, I can hear people talking, you know. Um, Depends on the environment you're in. Could be at a meeting and exactly. you're recording and someone sitting next to or near you. And you hear them a better. Makes a comment, you're gonna, that's going to overpower whatever's out in the main Right. Scene. Yes. So um, one more thing to notice quickly is over here you have auto, M, and cinema. We keep our settings on M. 
Um, that way we can set our white balances when we get to different locations because inside is a different color temperature than outside and things of that nature. That's why sometimes you have blue footage because it was set for inside and then you go outside. And so... M would be manual? M is manual. Not that everything is manual that way. You right. still How tell the camera yes. So. Uh, we do keep, when I give equipment out to people, I do keep white balance on auto just in case people forget to set their white balance. At least the camera can somewhat correct that. Um, and all of the settings in the camera are set to our liking. They're set to what we want the format to be recorded as. Mm -hmm. The audio is set to um, our specifications. So really people don't ever need to go into menu options with us. They just need to know how to set a white balance and set up their shot and hit record. Mm -hmm. So um, with that being said, uh, our record button is right back here. So to record, you'll push it, and then you will have red dot. a red dot come up. And what ends up happening is you will slowly lose uh, time off of your chip. So like right now, this one says two hours and 22 minutes. Uh, as it clicks down over here, you can see we're 15 seconds into our clip. So when that hits a minute, then the B chip only has two hours and 21 minutes. So lots of information on our um, screens. Um, but that is definitely how you know you are recording is the red dot. So we will stop recording and you will see a green dot flashes with a pause and that is us pausing the record. The uh, red flashing on here also stops. Yes. So over here, and let's hit record one more time. You can see the red light flashing, and that is also another way, indicator for people to know that they are, yes, recording. Yeah, well. So my next step would be to white balance, Alan. And by doing that, I would have, and maybe ask you to hold that white piece of paper up. Be someone in the audience, just anybody here, yeah. standing by the, by the camera? Yes. And technically, when you white balance, you want it to be in the light that you're shooting at. So if we're at the school board, you're going to want to go where Lisa Hitchens sits and have somebody hold that paper there because that's the light that you need to white balance. Um, but for our purposes here today, you will just zoom in onto the white paper. You'll hit function, WB, which is white balance. And then there's these two triangles and a circle square looking thing. Uh, that is to set your white balance. So you push that and then set WB. It's going to flash that symbol at us. And when it's done, it's going to go away. And that's how we set our white balance. So then you can hit the X to get out of that. And now we look good. Our colors will match. Excellent. That was pretty easy. Yep, not too hard. Finding the volunteer to hold the paper may be the hardest part. <laughs> right, you can't be afraid to talk to people when you're with BATV and out in the crowds. If we've successfully recorded, when we've successfully recorded the program mm -hmm. and it's time to pack everything up, is there a, a, a better sequence to follow than just... I, I follow the same sequence, so when I put things out, it goes tripod, camera, and then audio. So when I pack things up, it's audio, camera, tripod. Um, and you also just want to make sure you always have everything you came with. Um, so if we're going to break things down, we would close our LCD screen, we would turn our camera off, mm -hmm. we would take it off the tripod, mm -hmm. and we, we take the plate off that plate needs to immediately go back on the tripod. Mm -hmm. That's a good way not to lose it. Mm -hmm. And then take the battery off the camera. That way we're not draining this any further. And then we just put this back in our camera bag. Mm -hmm. Is there anything, Jen, in this case that we need to know about besides the camera? There is, Alan. I would uh, like to tell you guys about 
a couple different things. There is a very strange handle that people would be like, what is that for? Um, this is for audio, and we'll come back to this in our next segment. Um, then we also always have AC power in our cameras, so that way if we're like at the library and we can plug in, then we don't ever have to worry about a battery change. Um, so certain locations that's great for, especially if we're gonna have long meetings. Um, there's always headphones. You will not know what your camera's audio is gonna be if you don't use these. And to be honest, we need you to know that you're getting good sound so that when it comes to us, we know we got good sound. Um, there is a notepad and a pen in our camera bags. So that way, if we're at a shoot, and let's say somebody says a bad word, we want you to be able to write down, you know, time, uh, time a uh, possible word or a few letters of the word. So that way, when we go to edit, and you're going to rip this out, and you're going to put it here with that. So that way, when we get this back, we go, all right, we definitely need to pay attention around this time of what these people are saying so that we can bleep it out. Because even though we're public access, we still can't swear, we oh. still can't have drug use, we still can't have nudity, we still can't have all the same things that networks, you know. Have to follow community standards. Exactly. FCC and regulations. FCC regulations. Yes, so no F-bombs can be dropped on BATV. And never shall it be. Right. So we always leave that in here for uh, people to write anything down. But if we're at a location, um, let's say we're at a soccer game and some kids come and they sit next to us and they start chatting about things that are really inappropriate and we have our headphones on and we can hear it clear as day on our camera. Our first step is to ask those children to either leave, to move over so that we can continue recording for television if there's resistance there, then you need to physically move away from them. Um, we don't try to ruffle feathers or anything when we're at locations and we don't want to put people in awkward situations. It's really hard for kids to say that type of stuff to their peers, but sometimes it's just easier to be like, I'm going to go over here. You know, and give yourself that distance so that you're not writing down every word that they say in this 10, 15 minute period. Plus, you know, at some point, the soccer game isn't going to be high quality anymore. Um, so, yeah, we do recommend that you write down anything. And you never know, sometimes people on um, councils might say a word or two. We've had that happen. And, you know, it's nice that people write it down so that we can bleep even a city official or any municipality official. Um, you can't take a nap while you're doing this work. No, there's no napping when you videotape. You need to pay attention. You need to, you know, make sure you're always ready to pan, tilt, you know, follow your speaker. Make sure you're hearing them clearly, making sure people aren't talking around you, making sure that your camera looks good, you got plenty of headroom. You know, we don't need to see the ceiling when the person is talking. You know, you want to make sure you got them here and that they look good and that you have that lead room. And so, yeah, there is no napping uh, when you're on a shoot. You do need to pay attention at all times. Uh, in our next segment, we're going to go over some audio um, options that BATV has in our office.